Hey guys, what's up? Miss PC Chicks back with you again, along with my little kitty who is kind of reluctant to be in the video, but I took her in anyway. Yeah. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about the new iOS 5 update and answering some of the questions that you guys gave me. Now, I guess I didn't put up the announcement soon enough to get a lot of questions yet, but I got several that were kind of along the same theme. The first question, of course, is that everyone was asking when iOS 5 came out, and everyone tried to download it at the same time. Apple servers were busy. But instead of telling people that Apple servers were busy, Apple told them that they couldn't restore the iPod, which made some users believe that it was something wrong with their computer or something wrong with their device. Thanks a lot, Apple. Anyway, most of it was fixed when the servers started getting a little bit less congested. Um, I also noticed that when we tried to do it on ours, it helped if we opened the firewall. Now, um, that didn't have, that's probably not a lot of people's problems. Ours, you know, maybe has a few more ports locked down for security or whatever. But depending on how secure your firewall is, you might have to unlock some of the ports or just open, open the firewall, do the download, and then close it when you're finished. Another problem that came about when the iOS 5 came out was that there were a lot of updates period that Apple wanted to install either on your computer or on your Mac. And um, we tried to take out some of those updates, you know, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that, and then guess what? It wouldn't install. So we had to go through to the system preferences, um, find all, excuse me, find all the updates, and then subsequently download all those updates again and have them all install. And then finally, Apple was willing to restore the iPod. But if, unless you have those two things, the, all the updates checked, for one, and try not to download it at the same time as everyone else, you were going to run into problems. Now, I don't know what it's like today. Today is Saturday, about three or four days after it came out, so it might be a little less problematic for you. But you'll still have the problem if you don't choose all the updates, at least in my experience. I'm not saying that's for everyone. The next thing about iOS 5 that you probably heard about and probably want is Siri. Well, if you don't have an iPad 2 and you don't have an iPhone 4S, you're kind of out of luck, guys. I'm sorry. Because Siri is not going to work on anything prior to an iPhone 4S or an iPad 2 device. And it's definitely not going to work on your iPod Touch. So, just get out of that out of the way right now. Now, along with all those... Um, updates that you did want along with your iOS 5, oh, there were 200 or something like that. They also gave you some that you didn't want, like Newsstand. Well, a friend of mine showed me how, showed me a video actually of how to get Newsstand into a folder. And, um, uh, cat's thinking my nose itch. Uh, anyway, you can get Newsstand into a folder if you try to put an app into a folder and then quick tap the Newsstand. And I'll try to get a link to that video in the description below because it's kind of hard to do right now and I have not updated my iPod Touch 3G. And the reason for that is I am, it's kind of on its last leg and I'm hoping to get the iPhone 4S soon. So I'm kind of not going to bother putting iOS 5 on it unless it starts behaving again. Another feature that you might like though in the iPhone OS 5 update is the camera button is now on the lock screen. And um, you know, my, since my power button doesn't work, I can't show you the lock screen right now. But just picture your lock screen when you have the password done. And there will be a little camera button on the right-hand side of the slider where you unlock. And that is so you can take a picture right away, as opposed to waiting until you put in your 15-digit password and your, your cat moves and now you can't get the picture of her. So you can access the camera without unlocking the phone, which is, in my opinion, a very good update. They should have done that long ago. And that's about it for today. If you have more questions about the iOS 5 update, I will try to research them and look into them for you, or I'll just ask my sister who put it on her iPhone 4G, or her iPod Touch 4G, and hopefully we'll be getting it on our iPad too soon, but not sure yet. So um, unless I can't find the answer myself, I will try to research the answer for you and either put it in a comment or you can put it on my Facebook wall and I'll try to comment you there or I'll message you. So there's a lot of ways to get a hold of me. Um, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. Oh, and um, please, if you would, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and favorite it to show me that you like the video and because you love me. So thank you. Bye.